Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to customize the Agile Store Locator. For this video, I have captured a few customization points that includes social media links that we can add into the Store Locator listing, add a website button, add a website button with some custom tags, remove the store's opening hours, remove the store days, add the categories image instead of the name or change the background color for a specific store so let's get started with the social media links for that there are two steps first we have to add these fields into the custom fields section and second we have to customize the template so let's get started with adding these fields into the ASL settings I will copy the field name Add new field here we will put the label such as Facebook URL control name add the second field Twitter URL and the third one Instagram save it so once the fields are saved you can see these fields will appear into the store add store like here so once we have done this we will customize our template so for the template customization please go to plugins and the plugins editor go to the Java store locator public partials and select the template which you are using in our case I'm using template front end zero which is the default template please make sure to back up the template so you can avoid some sort of mistakes and recover it I will copy it and paste it in some text editor I will sublime and will paste it here Now to add the social media links, I will copy this section of the code and paste it under this listing template section. Template listing item. Above the distance. So it should be below the distance. Save it here and copy paste it into the plugin editor. File saved. Refresh the store locator. So, as you can see, the fields are not appearing just because we haven't added some data for those fields. So, let's add the data for these fields. For that, go to manage stores and add the data for any of the store I will add for this store please make sure to write the URL with the HTTP or HTTPS at the start Okay, once the data is saved, I'll save it. Now refresh our store locator. As you can see, the social media links are appearing. Now we can also change the color for these links as we have the buttons. For that, like I want to change it for the Twitter button, I can style it with some background color. I will use important tag to overwrite the existing color. Copy paste.
into the plugin editor. Save it and refresh it. Seems like the color is a bit light and it doesn't appear. We can change the color code. Not spare for the demo purpose. So the next point is add a button. Copy it and paste it into the plugin editor. We have a template here as a backup. I will paste it here first. And paste it there into the plugin. So it doesn't appear as we haven't added any data for this i will add data for this same store website url here updated and refresh it so you can see that a button appears for the Amazon Club. So the next point is how we can change this text for this store. Like we want to change this text for each store and keep it separate. For that, I will use this line of code and replace it with my existing one. So first, there is another field that is website text. We have to add it into the ASL setting custom fields. I'll add it here. Sorry. Website text. Website URL text. Save the fields. Add it to and write some text like Amazi store URL and save it. Copy these lines of code and replace it. Put it into the template editor. And save it. Refresh the store locator, and you can see that the Amazon store URL appears. It will appear differently for different stores as we keep on saving. For example, let's add it for the Aqua Food store. save it now let's check it the aqua food store the URL appears so let's head to the third point that it how we can remove the store opening hours for that we have to remove these line of code opening hours from two sections this is for the listing and second is for the info box URL search for it in the template here we have it remove it search it again and remove it from here as well after that we can save it so now open hours will not appear so the next point is how we can remove these 
days for that we will search for these lines of code and remove it save it and put it into the template update the file and see if it's working you can see that the days no longer appear so the next point is how we can add the category images instead of the name for that I will copy this lines of code and look for the C name into the template here we have it replace it with the lines copy it and paste it into the template update the file and refresh it after refreshing the page you can see that the images are appearing for the categories so the next point is how we can change the background color for a specific first for that we have to add these line of code into the template search for asshole item and replace it with this line as you can see that we are using a new field here we have to create it into the custom fields and write some value for it for the color to appear save it manage stores add the color value for example ffc update the store and refresh the listing Sorry, I think I forgot to paste the template into the WordPress. Paste it here and update the file. Let's refresh it again and the color is appearing. That's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.